Hey everyone, welcome back. So yet again, I'm dipping back into the Revolution Grease collection. I've got one more palette to try. This is the T-Birds palette. I've already tested out that car palette and the Pink Ladies. I'll leave those videos down below, but this is the cool story we're gonna be working with today. I'm also gonna dip into the highlighter and blushes again and maybe the mascara and eyeliner, which I was not a fan of, but yeah, we'll try. But yeah, that's my video today. If you wanna know my thoughts and opinions on this palette today, then make sure you can watch in, hit subscribe, join my makeup Patreon if you like, I'll leave that in the description box. And yeah, without further ado, Let's go. Okay, I've just quickly done my brows. I did go in with the Made by Mitchell Color Case The Essentials. I used the shade Richie and Coconut. And to set that in place, I just used the NYX Brow Glue. I'm just gonna put on my lip bar. This is the Revolution Monster Zinc University Randall PH Formula Changing Lip Balm. Okay, I'm gonna start off the palette. So the Pink Ladies and the T-Birds cost £7.99. You do get mattes and shimmers in here. You got four mattes in here and the rest are shimmers. I definitely wanna do something with this bright purple. This is called Systematic. I'm just gonna run this Systematic shade just on the out corner, just something to lay down first. When I tried out the Pink Ladies, I was quite impressed with that palette. Like, I had no issues with it. Did what I needed to do, really. <laughs> it is taking quite a bit of layering to get the pigment, but once you layer it off, it builds nicely. I really like that shade. It does lay down really nice. There's no patchiness or anything. When I swatched this shade, this black called Grease, it swatched really nice. I've got it on my wrist. It's more of a smoky black. It's not an intense pigment black, which quite goes with the color story of this. It's very cool toned. I'm gonna go into a darker color just to add a bit of definition on that corner. I was gonna go with this, I'm thinking I'm just going in the shimmer. This is called Burning and it's like a really deep plum. Packed on quite nice on the brush. I mean, I could have gone with the black, but I just want to try this shade for starters. It's not acting funny on top of that systematic shade. It's blending quite, it's laid on top of it quite nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I might go with a bit of black just on that outer corner. I'm gonna take that black just on the lower lash line on the outer corner. Make it really smoky. Okay, shimmer time. So I've got quite a few options. I've got this light in shade, cruising, coasting. I feel like the automatic shade would look better with the brown shade, but as for the other shimmers, I could go in all these. These are super pretty. What do I do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna lay down cruising first. I'm gonna have this on my finger. And I'm just gonna put this. It's like a gunmetal shade. I do really want a bit of that lightning shade though. So I may put this in the inner corner, just closing up that crease. Lightning shade, when I swatch it, it was very pretty. Pretty, I'm gonna wet this though. I want it quite intense. That was just my Eye Heart Revolution Wonderland Radiant Sky Fixing Spray. Comes in handy when you wanna Spray some certain shades. <gasps> yes, that into the cruising shade combo. That is so great. I feel like I'm preferring this over the pink ladies already. I just love myself cool tones. And of course, we are left with the lighter shimmer in the palette, which is called Coasted. And I think this would be perfect for the inner corner. It's the silvery. When I swatched this, it did come off a bit chalky, powdery, but I don't mind that formula if it's going in my inner corner. I wish that was more intense. I thought it was gonna be more intense than that. Maybe just add a bit more layer. Okay, it's okay. It's not my favorite inner corner shimmer revolutions I've ever done in a palette, but it's there, you can see it. I'm also gonna apply that same shade onto the brow bone, just to make a brow highlight. Whoa, that is beaming. Just run my finger over that. Okay, I am gonna go into the low lash line. I am gonna use that grease shade, that black. Put it in the low lash line, make it smoky. I definitely need some waterliner in my waterline. I'm gonna use the systematic shade just to close up the low lash line. Yeah, the systematic shade, I wish it was a tad more pigmented. It just takes a bit of building up, but it's okay, like for instance, I just wish it just popped 
on the lower lash line. It's taking quite forever to get it to show. Dipping into this. Now, I really did not like this when I've tried it. I've tried it twice now. Third time lucky. So this came in the It's a Stud gift set. It came with the red lip gloss. It also came in mascara as well. Okay, third time around, it wasn't as bad. I still don't think it's that user friendly. I don't know, it depends what you prefer. If you prefer a really stiff nib, no flex to it whatsoever, then you might really like this. However, I need a liner that has got a lot of flex to it, just so I can manipulate the line a bit more, but this one does not do that for me. Okay, I've just done a bit of my base, if you're wondering. I used the Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer, just in my T-zone, and then I went in with the iHeart Revolution Elf Primer. Foundations I mixed today is the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Luminous Shade N3, I think this is, and then the L'Oreal Matte Cover Shade 130. And then concealer, I used the HMV Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer, in the shade SF1W. Update, I prefer using this on the back of my hand and then blend it in with a sponge rather than applying it with a doe foot. I don't know, I've just been using it that way recently. And then just to lighten up a bit, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Powder, I use the Revolution Lace to set the concealer. And then I went into my She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour shade Golden Sun just to contour a bit. I like this when I'm using cool toned eyeshadow because it's not too warm. Okay, let's try out the blushes again. We're gonna go into... Rizzo today. I'll probably end up going in both know me, but so Rizzo is more of a soft movey pink. And I'm gonna go with my sponge because I do prefer using my sponge with these blushes. These give off a very dewy finish. Yeah, when I'm using dewy products, I just like to go with a sponge a bit more. This looks nice against the eyeshadow. I don't think I need to go in sandy today. I think this is good enough for the Rizzo. I'm also gonna go in the Hopelessly Devoted Highlighter Palette. I'm thinking of topping up this blush with this shade here. You can definitely see the sparkles. So that's what it looks like against this side. Just tops it up, you know? Then I'm gonna go into this lighter shade just to make it even more bright love pinky highlighters i just can't get enough of them it's done okay now we're on to the lipstick i've decided to pick up frenchy only because i haven't used this yet in a dedicated palette testing out video so this is more of a pink and what i liked about this it's not in your face bright pink it is quite toned down may go with the lip liner let's go with revolution tie this is like my go-to lip liner i always seem to gravitate towards it recently quite of a cool tone nude so I feel like it just goes with the look. I also wiped off that Monsters University lip balm as well. Lip oil. That's what it looks like swatch. Really nice. I think it goes so well with that Rizzo blush. So these lipsticks are very creamy formula. Quite thick as well. Yeah. This is a really nice lipstick. Oh, this one's actually more matte than the others, I'd say. They are described as matte lipsticks, but I say the other two, Sandy and Rizzo, they they gave off more of a demi matte. Oh, I like this colour, definitely for the autumn. See what I mean? It doesn't look that bright, but then again, I do have that lip liner. Now for the dreaded mascara. I hated this. We're gonna give it another go. I just don't like this. It's too much of thick formula. It's messy application. It comes off in a clump. It clumps up my lashes too much doesn't give them much separation. However, I do like this on the lower lash and it transfers. I'm just gonna take my time with it. Maybe in the other videos, I'm just too rushy with it. This needs careful application. I am being so careful. How does it look? When it comes to my makeup, I just wanna get it on and get on with my day. I'm gonna put on these little sheen lashes. I'm gonna do this off camera. So here's the final look using the T-Birds palette. I must say, this is my favorite palette out of all the palettes from the Grease collection. It's probably me just being biased because I just love cool tones and I love a bit of purple smokiness, but yeah, I really liked it. The black is decent from this palette as well. It's got pigment and it just applied on really smooth. The only shade that was a bit mm, about as systematic, it just took a little bit of building up and the coasting shade, it comes off quite powdery. If you've seen my videos previously, you know these are my absolute favorites out of the collection. The blushes, the highlighter and the lipsticks. But if I had to pick a palette out of the everything, definitely the T-Birds. I also still stand by what I said previously. I 
do not recommend these two products out there. It's a stud gift set. I'm just not a fan of them. Too much of a messy application for me, but I've given it a go. And yeah, the eyeliner's come out okay, but it's just taken so long. And in with my other eyeliners, for instance, Revolution Clueless, I just can apply that really quick. And I love the flex nib on this. But yeah, that was my final video to the Revolution Grease collection. Do let me know what's been your favorite video so far. Out of the three palettes, which are you most gravitated to? Let me know in the comments. Also throughout my channel, I will do some palette revisits. So do let me know which palette you'd like to me revisit and I can do that. I do plan to do another look with the Grease Car palette because I did play with it in my own time the other day and I really liked the look I came out of that. It was quite sunset -y. I'm gonna log off now. If you did like today's video, do give big thumbs up, share my channel out. And of course, if you wanna see more palette revisits, testing out new makeup, then hit subscribe so you don't miss out. And yeah, I do also have a makeup Patreon as well. If you'd like to join, I'll leave that in the description box. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day now every time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.